What you're seeing right now is a bee war. So right now we're trying to feed our bees. Every hive in this apiary needs to be fed because we're in a dearth, meaning we're just lacking a little bit of extra pollen and sustenance and food for the bees. So we are feeding them all sugar water, which is just what it sounds like. Sugar dissolved in warm water. So this entire apiary is now smelling like a bunch of sweet sugary water and all the bees are very excited about that. And this is what I would refer to in this story as and the calm before the storm. Outside. Very shortly after, this is the front of our hive. We put an entrance reducer, so that little black hole is the only spot bees are supposed to be going in and out of. There are bees trying to get in everywhere. And if you listen carefully, you can see bees dropping on this mat and fighting like crazy. All these bees are either our bees fighting off um, robbers or robbers fighting our bees trying to kill them so they can get into our hive. We call this in beekeeping as robbing, meaning that the bees are all hungry and in need of nectar and pollen and honey. And so they are going into any weak hive or any hive they really feel like they can get into to take what they can and go back to their own hive. And our hive is one of the smaller ones in this apiary, so it got a pretty good beating. Kind of do this cool looking spiral attack where they're both flying their wings and doing this these spiral circles. But when you really realize what it is, and as a beekeeper, you see it, it's so sad because these bees are trying to sting each other just enough to kill the other one. And that's why all these bees are here dead on the ground in front of our hive. Just a little fun fact, all these bees right here are a little bit smaller. They're not the drone bees, meaning these are all females fighting to defend their hive and their queen. Honestly, if you learn more about the bee world, girls rule this whole world. And that's a pretty sure sign you have robbers at your hive when you have bees trying to get into the spot that is not the main entrance. By putting a reducer on it, it allows the bees to have a much smaller hole to defend so they can hopefully keep all their honey inside their hive and keep protecting their queen and also all the other little worker bees. After all the bees have kind of calmed down, you can see me just grabbing a ball of bees in my hands, putting them back down. I'm not crazy yet or confident enough yet to do that without a glove, but just after this, our beekeeper mentor did that without a glove. Um, she said they're just calm enough right now. But during this crazy robbing time, they were definitely not safe enough to be putting your hand on them. All right, just finished editing this video. Um, just thought I would say thanks for watching and to please subscribe and follow along with the more, with more of our bee journeys. Um, we're always looking to continue to learn more there. So if you know more than us or you know something more about um, robbing, how to prevent it, ways to take care of your bees, any of that kind of stuff, we'd really appreciate it. Got a little audible over there, and we're signing out for the night. Thanks. Bye.